차렷 경례. Today we're doing who's who interview with one of my favorite favorite realtors uh, in our office, Metro Workers Elite, Donna Hessler. She is a, an amazing broker owner of her own real estate company, New Don Realty Metro Brokers. And I, it's a, such a privilege to have Donna because she always, always brings such a positive energy to our office. So Donna, thank you very much for joining our, our uh, show today. Thanks for having me and favorite, favorite, like, wow, cute. That's wonderful. <laughs> I feel so special. <laughs> you know, I mean that. Uh, you're, you're just amazing. Such a giving realtor. I, you know, a lot of realtors in our office really look up to you as our leader. I mean, you're really our leader now uh, in our oh. office. Uh, so just to talk for, for our young, we have, I think, about 95 young realtors on this channel watching this right now with us. Uh, so for our young brokers, how long have you been in real estate? Oh my gosh, it feels like forever. So I have to go all the way back to when I was 15 years old. Now I didn't have my real estate license just yet, but uh, my mother-in-law got me a job as a receptionist in a real estate office. So I did front desk and I just started to love the business, love the agents that I was with. And great little real estate office in Southern California is where I started, Park Place Realty. And our broker owner was just great and very encouraging and a really good teacher. So I started there behind the front desk. And then when I turned 18, I got my license right away. Wow. And so, so I started selling real estate at 18. And within six months, John, I was actually buying my first house. Like, oh my holy God. smokes, this business. Like, I, it was phenomenal, right? Right. And I remember I wanted to buy uh, my big car was a BMW. I wanted a BMW. <laughs> and my broker looked at me and he's like, how long have you been here with us? You know that investing in real estate is the greatest thing you can do. And so he talked me into buying a house and I'm like, I'm just turning 19, like buy a house. Are you serious? Right. So I did. And uh, that was my first jump in at real estate. And then um, David and I married my high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And we got married. We came here in 89 to Colorado just to check out Colorado, fell in love with this beautiful state, moved here in 93. I took a little break and then got my license um, in 2005 here in Colorado and got reseated. Uh, he kind of tricked me into it because he was a, he's a home builder, custom home builder. So mm -hmm. I was helping run his business and what have you. And he said, just get your license and just do my stuff and we'll be good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it turned into a big thriving business and I love, love, love real estate. It is, it's just, I love what I do. Right. I, I know we, we know that because it, every time you're in our uh, sales meeting, you lead our sales meeting and everybody's like, wow, she's so positive. She's got so much energy. You have a passion for this business. And uh, if you don't mind sharing, what, what was your best year in real estate in sales look like, kind of, roughly? You know, uh, probably last year, because I did a fix flip last year, too, and pulled some income from that. Um, so I was uh, 15 million in sales last year, and it was right around 30 deals transaction. Oh, wow. That That's amazing. That's and amazing. Um, yeah, it's good. I know there's a lot of agents out there that do a lot more production from, mm -hmm. you know, than that. But for me, that is 25 to 30 deals is about all I can handle on my own. Right. And I'm working on building a team so we can build that volume and what have you. But last year was a really good year, but it was interesting. Even in the downturn, I started building a business and started thinking mm -hmm. business minded. And you always have to think in this um, industry about how you can change with the times. And we're living in times where we've got to keep changing and transforming. But in 2008, in the great recession, I had to go from um, high end buyers, you know, and working with home builders to first time home buyers and investors and my whole business, I turned upside down and changed my clientele. So um, from 2008, I was building mm -hmm. and getting strength and, and building a business at that point, rather than just wow. doing, you know, my daily sales. But last year was a good year. So I'm That's happy. So awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. And you Thank touched you. on building a team and running as a business really for our young viewers. I mean, they had to realize this is a business. Is this is not where? Well, I could probably work one hour a day and make hundred thousand dollars. That usually doesn't work. You really do have to work hard at it, 
to build your business. You have to have that business mindset. So on that topic, how do you organize your day? What, 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 does, what does a typical day look like for you? That's a good question. So, you know, in this business, things change. And I like to be very structured, but you have to be flexible too, because I like to start off my morning making some calls and prospecting. Um, I always want to get caught up in emails and I get so many of them. But if I do that first, everything gets pushed down. So I try and do my prospecting, contact my clients, write some thank you notes, reach out to those in my sphere. And um, then I will try and tackle some emails, not all of them. And then in my afternoons, I try and book my appointments for showing properties and listing appointments. And that's a very loose schedule, but I try and stay structured every day with the same things. And you have to, you know, I was telling one of my associates, you have to run it as a business. You have to have that time. I do a lot of work from home. I like to come in the office, but I'm a self motivator and I can go down to my home office and just know that. I am working, even though I'm in real estate, right? I'm running my business. Mm -hmm. I am punching a time card for myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started keeping track of my hours and not only my hours, but what I was putting my efforts into for the whole mm -hmm. month of June. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting to see where you put your efforts and just paying attention to that time. Mm -hmm. But that's my day. And then of course you get the phone calls and then you're on the phone and then you don't get to prospect as much and you're putting out fires and you just have to kind of go with it. But if you can make certain goals every single day mm -hmm. and hit those goals, you know, the most important ones, then um, I think you'll be successful in, in being consistent in that. Perfect. So you touched on uh, prospecting and goals. Uh, what it, if we go to, you know, just talking about maybe phone calls and stuff like that. How many phone calls do you think you should make as a realtor, a successful realtor like yourself? Like per day is what yes. you're saying? Mm -hmm. I like to make five to 10 if it's possible. Okay. And I know there's various, mm -hmm. you know, thoughts and theories about mm -hmm. that, but I think that's realistic for me. And especially when I get on a call with somebody, because all of my clients have become friends. We do coffee, we do lunches together, they refer mm -hmm. me. And so a call can be 30 minutes, you know, right. or sometimes 45 minutes. Right. And, and so it takes a lot of time to visit with somebody and really, you know, make that connection and see how they're doing and what's going on in their lives. And, you know, I do care about all of my clients and, mm -hmm. and they know that I care about their personal lives and then they do business with me. So right. five to 10 is a lot a day if you can do yeah. that. Or sometimes I'll say, okay, those calls went a little bit long. So I'm going to write five notes instead of making the calls today because I was on the phone a lot and I need to get to my appointments in the afternoon. So I try and you know, do something or maybe a text rather than a call. If two of the calls went really long, I'll text, send an email or do something where I'm making connections with them. How about like social media on Facebook? Do you do, do you do any responses to your clients on social media? If they, if some, if your client had a son that graduated from high school, do you do something special there? Always. Uh, I try and follow on social media and I have, as you know, I've got philanthropy that I do. I run a nonprofit as well. And so my Facebook platform is a little bit um, overwhelming to keep up with because there are people on there I don't know that aren't in the real estate aspect. So I don't always see the feed mm -hmm. as, um, you know, Facebook changes their rules and stuff, but I try to keep up on everything. And uh, my husband's a great advocate for that because he's always watching and he's friends with a lot of my clients too so he'll he'll fill me in like if you haven't seen so and so graduated and I'm like yeah I saw and I've already reached out right. but yeah I try and follow up with social media as much as I can as well that's so great so uh, if you don't mind I'm gonna share your web page here oh, cool. nikonrealestate.com it's really pretty nice I love that house in the background that looks like a very nice house and yes. got where you know how much is my home worth property search this is very simple for your clients to follow through uh, do you get a lot of success from uh, your website do people log on to their, your website and, and, and yes browse through? I think a website uh, you know we can run one through Metro brokers too yeah. which they have a great platform and SEO but I also have my own personal one uh, just because I do a lot of blogging and writing and um, and then people can search and uh, when I send out my what's up Wednesday so I do a video with my team every week called what's up Wednesday right. and I run it through my website blog so that they have to click on that 
blog post to read the rest of it or see the video and then it brings right. them to the website to remind them you know that this is what we do so All right, here's a quotation we used donna to buy our very first home she helped us with everything not only did she get us a good deal on the house but she made the whole process very easy and smooth and that is you you make things hard stuff very easy and smooth to understand i think that is one of your best you know that best assets that you have i really do think so um but we're so excited that we had you on here and before i let you go i know you're a very busy person uh if there is one thing one golden nugget or one thing you really want to tell your 20 year old self, if you were back in the business, you're 18 again, yes. when you first got in, what would you tell yourself, your 18 year old? What, what should you do? You know, you know invest more or, or sell more houses. What, what would be that one piece of advice you would leave us with? I would say the, the business aspect of it. You know, when you get in and you're new in the business, of course you're thinking about how am I gonna make money? How am I gonna do this? And if uh, you think more about, first of all, serving your clients and doing well for them, you might not make a sale today, but what you do today to build those relationships will transform into you know, a really good referral network and the, the income will come. And so try not to feel like I've got to perform right now. You just work hard and you do the best for your clients. You provide a service for them. Um, you give them valuable um, things that they can and walk away with like thinking of ideas on how they can ho hold on to a home and buy another one or invest and and just really be that resource but think of it as a business rather than oh, how am I gonna make my first sale how am I gonna sustain in this and just get really rooted in this it's such a great business and you can make money for yourself in investing and wholesaling and all those things that we teach at Metro Brokers Elite and just get really rooted in this is my career this is what I love to do get out there connect with people make those contacts long-term relationships and it will grow you will grow it as you put into it so uh, what I got today from Donna is you, you, the number five you said five to ten calls a day maybe yes. five thank you notes I like that five maybe that's a good five to consider minimum five I, you know as a young broker that's watching this show right now hey how about five calls a day I know that's hard but start with five how about just five thank you notes that people like, remember what happened last week? Can you think of five people you could thank? So maybe yeah. sending out five thank you notes. And, uh, and last but not the least is think, consider this as a business and really uh, don't put the commission side first. Think about the people first, the clients you're serving, make sure you give them a really excellent service. And like you said, it may, the closing may not happen today, but it could happen a year later or two years later. And that's yeah. well, where you become a trusted advisor. So thank you so much for those tidbits. Uh, I really appreciate it. And okay. uh, looking forward to maybe doing a class with you. I have a feeling we're gonna do one. Ah, really we should do a class together. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> I would love I, it. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna do one real soon. And uh, you know, uh, just before I let you go, like uh, this week, uh, I, I interviewed a gentleman. He's, he's not a realtor. He's 19 years old, but he got accepted to Princeton University, which is one of the Ivy League, you know, top schools. Yes, yes. And, and I asked him to share with our young viewers, young realtors, what, you know, how do you become elite? How do, how do you become somebody who's, you know, it's different field. I mean, you studied hard. To be, and I think it all comes down to, we don't see it on the surface, but how hard you work at it and how much you enjoy it. I think so. I think you cover those. You worked hard since 18 years old. Yeah. So I'm not going to ask you how old you are, but uh, <laughs> I'm that. sure you can tell with the wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> but it's amazing. You're an inspiration to all of us. And, and I'm going to say thank you so much for all you do. And we continue to. Uh, uh, watch you succeed and grow your team and grow your brokerage within our company. That's, that's amazing, Donna. Thank you so much. And thank you, I'm going to do a Korean Taekwondo goodbye. So, 차려, 경례.